Let's quickly set up an Instagram live stream so you can stream from a PC or Mac. We'll look at how to get your stream key, then how to set up Atom Vertical and OBS. Start by downloading and installing OBS, but don't open it yet. Then download and install Atom Vertical. The default options on both of those installers should be fine. Now you can open OBS. If you don't see Atom Vertical on the right hand side, click Docs and select Vertical Scenes, Vertical Sources and Vertical and Transitions if you want. First up, let's click Scene Collection at the top, click New. And I've called mine Streaming Scenes. That gives us two blank canvases. Let's also click Profile, click New. I've called mine streaming profile. I'll check show auto config wizard. I'll press OK. We'll optimize for streaming. We'll set it to 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS and press next. Now this service, this is not actually for Instagram. We'll set the Instagram settings later. So if you're not planning to multi-stream, it doesn't really matter what you check. If you are planning, then choose the correct multi-stream platform. If not, I'm going to click custom. I'm just going to randomly type stuff into the box. We're going to prefer hardware encoding. We're going to uncheck estimate bitrate and I'll set my bitrate to 6,000. We'll press next and then we'll press apply. Now we've got good live stream settings. Next up, let's add in our desktop audio and our microphone. I'm going to click settings and then we're going to go to audio and we're just going to underneath desktop audio, I'll pick my headset and underneath mic, I'll pick my quadcast microphone and to the microphone, I'm going to add a filter, click the three dots, click on filters, click on noise suppression and then RN noise or NVIDIA noise removal. That is the best OBS filter. Everybody should have that. So I'm not too focused on the canvas on the left. I'm focused on vertical scenes and vertical sources here. So let's add in both our camera and we'll add in our display. Let's we'll start with the display. Display. So you can see right behind me, I'm clicking add source underneath vertical sources. And we're going to find display capture and I'll choose new. Then I'm just going to pick one of my monitors. We're going to capture the cursor or press OK. I'm going to do a simple setup here. So I'm going to click on display capture. I'm going to drag and we're going to put the camera at the top and the display at the bottom. So I've dragged it down. I'm going to right click it, transform, and we're going to center it horizontally. Once you're happy with how it looks, just lock it into place. Let's add the camera now. That's called a video capture device. I'll choose new and I'm going to add my second lower quality camera, but usually it will add it with lower quality. So under this resolution FPS type, we want to change it to custom and let's get it into 1080p, which means 1920 by 1080. If you have 4K, put it in 4K and FPS, the highest FPS on your camera and press OK. And I'm going to click on video capture device. I'm going to right click, rename it. Call it the name of your camera. I'm just going to call mine Cam2. And I'm going to click on Cam2 again. And I'm going to drag these squares to resize it. So I'm going to pull it out like that. I'm going to pull it down a little bit further. And I'm going to right click, transform, and center it horizontally again. So now we've got a basic Instagram live streaming setup. So I'll now lock the camera into place. And now let's click the settings cog on Atom Vertical. And here is Instagram's recommended settings. Looks like we can go 60 FPS, but we are not allowed to stream in 1080p for some reason. So if I go back into OBS, underneath resolution in the vertical settings, I'll click the drop down list and we'll go 720 by 1280. The rest of the settings on this page are fine. I'll click into streaming. If you have multiple streaming services added, just uncheck any of the other ones. Click on the add button and type in Instagram. We now need a server and a stream key. You can see I've got mine already. To get your stream key, we're gonna head into the Instagram account settings on a PC or Mac. First of all, you need to switch to a professional account, instagram.com slash accounts slash professional underscore account underscore tools. I'll put that in the description. And on this page, you'll be able to click a button to switch to a professional account. Once you've done that on the left hand side, let's obtain our stream key. Click create, click live video. I'll just call mine test and then I'm going to choose the practice mode. You should obviously choose public if you're actually going live. So I'm going to press next and in a few seconds, my stream keys now popped up. So I'm going to copy the server URL and we're going to paste it back into Atom. So that's server here. And then we're going to go back into Instagram and we're going to copy the stream key and we're going to place that one in this box. Next up, bitrate. Let's set it to 6,000. You definitely don't need to go above that if you're streaming in 720p. For simplicity, we're going to use the main OBS settings. If you remember earlier, we created a profile which created good OBS settings. Now we're going to press OK. And for some reason, my camera has now been messed up. So I'm now going to just resize the camera back to the way I want it. And actually, the reason that's happened is because we've downgraded to 720p. So you might have to resize your vertical sources and vertical scenes now and bring them back down because 
theoretically you've got less pixels now let me transform and center that one horizontally again there we go we've got this stream looking good again so before i go live and before i forget i'm going to click onto settings there's one last change i need to make i'm going to go on output and then we're going to make sure enable replay buffer is turned on i'll actually increase it to 60 seconds and i'll press ok okay so now it is time to go live i'm going to press the green button here which is going to go live on all vertical sources but we also need to press go live here before we do that, I'm going to right click, open up the volume mixer. I'm actually going to mute Google Chrome so you can see I've muted it here. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because in this preview here, it doesn't actually give you a way to mute it right now. I'm sure Instagram will improve that rapidly. But anyway, we now need to press go live in the top right corner. And after a few seconds, you should be live on Instagram. When you want to end the live, you have to press end live in the top right corner and also head back into OBS and click on the green again to end the stream and the timer will disappear, which indicates the stream has ended successfully.